Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. All right. I decided I don't like the uh, hair that I was doing. And I'm going to redo it. nice thing about clay is if you don't like something you can start over I'm just gonna do it differently not much differently but one of the first things I want to do is get the ears worked out and uh, because I don't know if I'm gonna have the hair in front of the hair the ear or behind the ear or what I'm gonna do yet and I just This is a good reference right here. I've had a Burl Eyes movie uh, tune going through my head for the last couple of days. All I want to do is sit on a porch with you. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I just been playing with the uh, beard a little bit. Trying to develop, or actually trying to see what it does to his face. If it complements the face or distracts from the face. And right now it's complementing the face. I will give him more hair. I'll develop the hair more as I go. I'm thinking of an unkempt head of hair.
every wrinkle was uh, and every fold of skin and mound of skin determines his personality. I decided to put front hair on his head so that it, uh, it fills in the space underneath the face mask. Uh, make it easier for them to cast it. I don't know if it'll be easy though. But anyway, it just gives a little more character in it. I was going to put heavy eyebrows, but I think I'm going to leave that off. I'm getting pretty heavy here. <laughs> Your fingernail can be a very, very good sculpting tool. Being a little ambidextrous helps too. Okay, the next thing I need to work on is his uh, axe, and I'll do that next time, next week. I think this is about as far as I'm going to get today. I'm going to go over the face with a lighter fluid. To uh, smooth it out a bit so that I can work on wrinkles too next week. Yeah, I'm using Ronsonol on his uh, clay. And it just has a something in the Ronsonol just smooths out the clay. Well, that's it for now. I'm liking the personality a lot. And uh, we'll see how it looks next week. Have a great Sunday. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.